FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Morning, everyone. On this 28th day of November, this is Wednesday, and we're looking at the Dow at 33,291, up 52. Just some residual strength there as the histogram has been improving a little bit over the past few days, but it still hasn't got enough oomph to get to the 33,480, 33,520 level. That's what it needs. It's at 32,296 right now, just up 53 points. And the S&P has also been struggling some this morning. The S&P at this particular point is up at 10 at 3839. It has squeaked to a leg A, and that's important here, gray leg A. Not much to see. The day is young. I'm just wondering if we aren't going to be seeing uh, later on, as the day uh, progresses, if there isn't any sell-off, but buyers just start to creep in a little bit because it's a very low-volume day, that we close towards the high of the session. We'll see. <laughs> we'll, we haven't had that uh, yet, any sign yet that there's that kind of strength. Meantime, the QQQ has made a lower low. Uh, trading at 264.82, up a dollar 24. That you know, gosh, the, the, I want to see strength in the QQQ and the strength of the SMH is to say any rally has got sustainability. IWM, any market rally that is, IWM very weak, uh, up 11 cents at 172.34. Now this is going to be very important because gold did pull back some. It's down 11 at 1811 after a really strong session yesterday, but it didn't get an inverted Chapman Wave Roman candle, which suggests to me that if at any point in the next two days, uh, gold is able to hold for 90 minutes above uh, 1831, and it's called 1832. Above that, for about 60 to 90 minutes, there's a chance we could retest yesterday's high. Otherwise, I think gold is just in a, in a situation right now where it could pull back a little bit. You're not seeing strength in the dollar to do that. Down 20 ticks at 103.99. There's just nothing to see there at the moment. And we're looking at crude oil. And crude oil over the last few days had a really nice rally, pulling back today at $1.50 at 78.04. It's in this lower range, uh, stuck at the 200 period moving average. And the last thing we'll look at here is the TLT, uh, up 24 cents as yields have been rallying quite sharply. I'll be back uh, for the Tiger Technicians out in a few moments. Check out my opening call daily newsletter and have a great day, great programming here at TFNN. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians out here at uh, 10.